Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at thermistors and LDRs. So let's get started. Now, thermistors and LDRs are just specific types of resistors that can change their resistance depending on some external conditions. So the thermistor, first of all, if you look at the word therm, that tends to mean things to do with heat. So a thermistor is a temperature-dependent resistor, and therefore its resistance varies according to its temperature. And we have a rule for thermistors, and this states that as the temperature of a thermistor increases, its resistance decreases, or in other words, temperature up, resistance down. So we can use this funny word turds to try and remember the rule for thermistors. But even though we're saying temperature up, resistance down, the opposite is also true. So as the temperature of a thermistor decreases, its resistance increases. So temperature down, resistance up also holds true. Here's the circuit symbol for a thermistor. So we have a resistor, the rectangle, but this time we've got something that looks a bit like a tick, but it goes along and then up diagonally through the thermistor. And sometimes you might see a little T labeled there, but it doesn't always need to have the T. Just to show you a quick simulation of a thermistor in use, imagine you've got a heater connected to a DC power supply and it's inserted into a beaker of water. Let's say we also have a temperature probe in there and an ohmmeter connected to a thermistor. Then as the heater heats up the water, the temperature will increase and that means that the temperature of the thermistor here will increase as the water heats up and that in turn will mean that the resistance of the thermistor will decrease, temperature up, resistance down. So this is shown on the graph here as we've plotted resistance against temperature. You'll see we've got this inverse relationship where as temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. So we should have a curve down the way like this. Next we have the LDR and an LDR stands for a light dependent resistor. So this is a resistor whose resistance varies according to the light instant upon it. So we also have a rule for LDRs just like we did for thermistors and this says that as light intensity increases the resistance of the LDR decreases. So light up, resistance down, which can be summarized using LURD. And the opposite of this is also true. So light down, resistance up. So it says as light intensity decreases, the resistance of the LDR increases. This is the circuit symbol here for the LDR, where we've got our normal resistor with two arrows pointing in towards the resistor. And those two arrows represent the light coming in. So just to show you a quick simulation of an LDR in use, let's say we have a DC power supply connected to a variable resistor and a lamp and we then have an LDR connected to an ohmmeter. And let's say we start with the lamp off, so we're in a pitch black room, then we've got a set resistance on the ohmmeter. So if we turn on the lamp and adjust the variable resistor to change the intensity of the light, then what we should see is that as the intensity of the light goes up, then the resistance of the LDR goes down. And we can clearly see that on the display on the ohmmeter here. Now, if we plot the graph of resistance against light intensity, then you'll see that as resistance goes down, the light intensity goes up, or that as light goes up, resistance goes down. So just to summarize, it's useful to remember those two rules, one for thermistors and one for LDRs, where we have turd and lard. So temperature up, resistance down for thermistors, and light up, resistance down for LDRs. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.